the high pressure inlet brine seal side of the pressure vessel. First, disconnect the small 1 4th inch low pressure hose from the elbow fitting on the plug. Next, take a crescent wrench and loosen the nut on the bottom of the Clark pump. Look at where the high pressure tube connects to the end plug. Use the 13 16 wrench to firmly hold the bronze fitting on the end of the plug in place while you loosen the nut with the 7 8 wrench. Note his scissor technique. Gently pull the tube out of the fitting. While hand loosening the plug ring, gently pull the plug out. Sometimes it is necessary to use an end ring wrench to loosen the plug ring. Next, use needle nose pliers to remove the membrane. Do not grab the product tube. Grab the gray anti-telescoping device. First, slide the membrane into the high pressure inlet brine seal side of the pressure vessel. Slowly spin the membrane as you firmly push it into the vessel. The ring should spin on smoothly. Make sure that the brine seal goes in last. If available, lightly apply silicone grease over the brine seal. It might be necessary to tighten the end with the end ring wrench. Slowly spin the ring onto the threading. If you meet resistance, stop. Next, insert the high pressure tube into the bronze fitting on the end of the plug. The nut should screw into the bronze fitting smoothly. If you meet resistance, stop and start over. Use the 13 16 wrench to hold the bronze fitting on the end plug firmly in place and the 7 8 wrench to tighten the nut. Note his scissor technique. If your pump has a small low pressure tube, reconnect it to the elbow on the end plug. Finally, use a crescent wrench to snug the nut on the bottom of your Clark pump.